Hey everyone, this is another top five game list. This one is, again, for the holidays, for birthday presents, anything like that. These games are timeless, but this list is intentionally for people who don't like the super casual games. They kind of want something that's more intellectually challenging, but at the same time, they want some investment. And that's a thing. Some people don't quite understand that a game that forces you to invest some of your brain power often will feel more satisfying and you'll have more things to remember. So that's what these games are. And with that, let's go with the first game in no particular order. I'm not brave enough to order these games. No, it's, it's just, these games are so different. I'm not gonna say that you should get one over the other. Just, just listen to the games, check them out, and consider buying them. All right. Firefly. All right. Firefly is a sandbox game, and there's not a lot of those. And there's not a lot of them that are fun. And there's no other fun game, to my knowledge, set in the Firefly universe. So this checks a lot of boxes. It is super enjoyable. The, it's not co-op. You might, might have thought a Firefly game would be co-op, and there are those games out there, and as far as I know, none of them are actually that good. Sorry, but... Firefly, this, this is a game done right. It feels kind of like a role-playing game. You pick up your crew, you upgrade your ship, you get equipment, you upgrade your crew, you misbehave. It is just, I mean, you're playing in the Star Firefly universe. I'd like a computer game. I don't know why they haven't made one like this, but um, it is fun. It's fun, guys. I will caution you. It is a long game. Again, this is on my list of serious games. And I would say do not do this right before bedtime because it's a long game. I would, I personally would say start the game, take a break, eat a meal, lunch, dinner, something like that, and then finish the game. Man, people get cranky when they're like near the end and they don't think they're going to win. They might win anyways, but they don't think they're going to win. Man, they get cranky. Don't do it. Um, don't do that on any long game, really. But yeah, it's a long game. Game number two. I feel kind of bad. These games are well played and their boxes are not, not holding up totally great because we've played them so much. Five Tribes. Five Tribes, the Jinns of Nikala. This is... Um, it's a fun game. Is it, is it Mancala? Is it based off Mancala? I kind of feel like it is. Um, at any rate, it's like a, mm, kind of like a worker placement game. You put out tiles and you put out these colorful uh, tokens and you have kind of disturbing little tokens for, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you what these look like, but kind of disturbing little little meeples, but um, you get gins, you uh, have these interesting way of calculating points, it's kind of hard to tell, it's kind of like in a Euro style, it's kind of hard to tell if you're going to win or not until near the end. This game is fun. I mean, Days of Wonder. Really, I could recommend almost any game from Days of Wonder, and it's a gamer game, but it's fun. I just, I don't physically own a lot of Days of Wonder games. Usually I play them on the computer or people bring them over. There might be a computer version of this. If so, I bet it's great as long as you have like a TV or an iPad to play it on. But Five Tribes, great game. This game was played on Will Wheaton's tabletop. So that's another perk because you can kind of send that video of him playing it to somebody and they'll get more motivated. I've noticed that. They'll feel like, oh, I want to play that game that I saw being played. 
Imhotep. This game skyrocketed up to one of the most requested games of my group. I put it in this list because it's weird and it's out there and it is, I mean, you have to think when you're playing it, but we mostly play this game with casual gamers because it is easy to pick up. It just looks very confusing. And once you start playing, you're like, I mean, people like, they kind of get that glazed look on their eye and they're like, I hate you. You're doing this to me again. Like, I just want to come over and have some fun and you're forcing me to play some hard game. And then they start playing it and they know how to play it and they're just, they just have fun. Again, this skyrocketed to the top. It is, an, I think, an older game. I picked it up at Mid Meeple at Meeple Con, which is here in Las Vegas. And I, you know, it was a good deal or whatever. I just thought, cool, I'll just grab it. And it turned out to be amazing. So that was a happy surprise. And I'm happy to put it on the list. What, what? Terraforming Mars. I intentionally didn't put a lot of the games that I kind of make a lot of videos about on my lists because you already see them if you're watching this. But Terraforming Mars, man. This, this game has gotten the most gameplay. And I talked to the owner of the Gaming Goat Corporation and we both agreed they basically just print money. This game is so good and the expansions are so good that every expansion they've made, you just add it to the game and it just feels like it's always been part of the game. It's, ah man, I love this game. They, they did recently make a computer version. I bet it's great, but I like, I like the tactile feel of playing this game. I don't know that I want to switch to a computer game, but if you play remotely or people move away, computer game might be worth looking at. Terraforming Mars, fantastic game. I've made multiple different videos about them. You can, you know, click that in the channel, but love it. Great game. One of the best games. Honestly, one of the best games. I would put this on a list of top five games of all time. It's amazing. It's a good game. Everybody has fun with Terraforming Mars, even when they're losing the whole time, even when they know they're losing the whole time. And sometimes they still win, but usually not. It's not quite that Euro, but it is like a little bit Euro. It is good. Roll for the galaxy. All right, guys. If your group has not played Race for the Galaxy, which is what this is a playoff of, this is roll instead of race, your group's not alone. It's fine. I have a bunch of Race for the Galaxy cards. My friend who kind of like got me into board games, he has a bunch of Race for the Galaxy cards. We've played, me and him have played a ton of Race for the Galaxy. I could not get my groups to play Race for the Galaxy. They had already started playing Roll for the Galaxy, so they just don't get it. They don't understand why Race for the Galaxy could... I could have put it on the list. It's not, though, because people don't like Race for the Galaxy like they like Roll for the Galaxy. I, I, I think some people like Race for the Galaxy. I do. But after I played Race for the Galaxy, after I played a bunch of this, uh, I get why... I kind of had a rebellion and I just gave up. I, honestly, I just gave up. I said, you know what? We will just keep playing the game that is fun. You play with all kinds of cool dice. You have cool dice cups. You have um, a bag of tiles to look through. You have all these fancy dice with their own engravings. You, you play near to simultaneously. And that is a huge plus, I think. I love it. It is a great game. Um, it is not totally a casual game. Definitely, I, I felt, because we played it so much and we, we feel like it's so easy, I thought it was a casual game. It's not. So this was not on the casual list that I made before. This is on the more hardcore game list. It, it is still a, a low-key game. If you can convince people to give it a shot and you play like three or four games, I think they'll have fun with it. But otherwise, keep it with the people who play a lot of games and they will like this game. This game is a fun game. The 
art is vivid. I, I desperately want an expansion, another expansion. They came out with one expansion. It was great. I hope there's another expansion coming soon. I, I heard rumors that there was. All right. And with that, that was my top five more serious games that are still fun. I should come up with a better name for it than that. Uh, comment down below what you think the name of this list should be. And if you agree, and don't call it the top five sucky games, because these are good games. Um, if you disagree, though, I will, I may make another video. Give me, give me arguments why I should not have some of these on the list. You may have different games on your list, and I might agree with you if I had those games, but there's a lot of games now, right? There's like, it just feels like endless amounts of new games every, um, every year. Just every year, so many new games. So I haven't played all the games, but these are my favorite. So with that, happy holidays. Happy anything that you do during around this time. If you're watching this later on, I hope that somebody has a good birthday because you chose some a game off this list and that they have fun with it. All right, bye guys. All I wanna do is stay. And you're concentrating and you're like, I would never do it find if you and I didn't collide. All I wanna do is stay. You've taken me by surprise. You brought me back to life. You didn't even have to try. All I wanna do is.